Hello guys, Dejit here, back again with another video and today I'm going to show you how to install custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S7 and uh, also for S7 Edge so uh, I'm pretty sure that you have already rooted the device and installed the recovery so you uh, just have to put the ROM into the SD card or into the internal storage and then boot into recovery so if you want to boot into recovery you just have to press and hold uh, at the same time the power button, the volume down button and uh, the home key so uh, here we go right now so you will first see oh sorry so it's uh, the volume up key so the volume up key, the power button and the home button at the same time to boot into the recovery so uh, after you have uh, booted into recovery you have to go to wipe and then swipe to factory reset so as you can see over here, this will wipe your data, cache and DAWIC. This will not delete your music, uh, it will just delete the apps and uh, cache files of previous uh, software you got. So then uh, you go and find uh, either your external SD card or your internal storage, which is over here as SD card, but uh, mine is into external SD card, then you find the ROM and uh, swipe uh, to confirm so right now I'm going to install SAC 23 version 3 um, if you get uh, an error which says uh, that uh, the recovery is not able to to uh, wipe your internal storage and to mount it I'll show you just a second uh, what to do so right here you just uh, press, basically you just only have to press next. Over here you will have to uh, perform a full wipe, which we already did, but uh, it won't harm the device. Over here personally I like uh, more magisk because I could uh, hide the root from apps like Snapchat, which prevents me from uh, logging in. Over here I don't need uh, knock support, uh, you can uh, pause and see what it says uh, about that. So then again you click next, I personally like the iOS emojis and then uh, click next one more time. So um, this is what happens, it will start installing the ROM and after that you just uh, reboot your device. Sorry I got to pick up a quick phone call, so uh, here we are, so it is, uh, I've touched nothing, I just uh, let the device and then pick it up. It was uh, just a couple of seconds of a phone call, so uh, right now it's installing uh, Magisk, which is so so uh, rooting uh, the device. But as I said, it has uh, the option to hide it from apps like Snapchat. So uh, over here, you will just see that uh, the ROM install installation is now complete. Then you click next and uh, finish. Uh, you will click over here yes if you want to reboot the device and uh, boot into the ROM. The ROM comes with a Moro kernel and um, if you want to install another kernel you will click no and then this will finish. Uh, don't get bothered if you get enabled to mount storage uh, this is nothing. If you want to install a custom kernel you just find the kernel so for example right now I'm going to do this um, the kernel is in my SD card if I'm not if I'm sure it should be into downloads, yeah, so here is a Notorious Kernel version 1.5.5 um, So uh, this is it It's already ready uh, As I told you, if uh, the recovery when you try to install the ROM If uh, the recovery over here says that uh, it is unable to mount uh, internal storage or system You have to go to wipe and then format data and over here type yes and then confirm but uh, take note that uh, format data will wipe all of your applications backups uh, pictures videos media and uh, remove encryption on internal storage so basically this will remove everything that uh, is on your device not on your sd card but on your internal storage of the device so be aware of that and uh, also this will not delete backups uh, from samsung cloud this will delete backups from uh, which are based, uh, which are stored on the internal storage. So uh, then you click yes, and uh, you get uh, either 32 gigabytes of uh, free storage or uh, 
whatever is your device. So uh, basically this is it, this is how, how you install a custom ROM on your device. Um, I'm not going to then you as a, you saw, you just, uh, uh, with Moro kernel you're going to. So basically guys this is how you install a custom ROM or, and kernel also. And if you want to install just the kernel, just uh, go ahead and swipe on the kernel, there's no need to reinstall the ROM. So uh, basically this is uh, how you do all those stuff in uh, the recovery. Uh, this is uh, legit for Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, S6 and S6 Edge, S6 Edge, sorry, for sure. These are the four devices that I've tried it on and uh, I'm a thousand percent sure that it works. On other devices, uh, not only Samsung ones, the procedure will be uh, basically the same. Um, but uh, I can't uh, guarantee for sure, so uh, it should be the same, this is just Android, so there is nothing uh, really to do with the user interface of the device. So uh, it will take um, about uh, 5 to 6, 7 probably minutes, uh, depending on your uh, internal storage and everything, until your device uh, boots up, uh, so uh, be patient and uh, take your time, take make a coffee or something and uh, wait for your device to boot up so uh, here is mine just booting up so basically this is uh, for this video also uh, SAC 23 ROMs uh, version 3 is uh, coming probably it will come right after this video so uh, be sure to check it out there will be a link uh, to it into the description and uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon